All right, guys. So, made it back here. Um, thought I'd show you this uh, little tip for you. Um, what, how I set my 330s, um, and a way that can uh, help, um, you know, maybe get you out of a jam if you got to do it one-handed and uh, you know say you get caught or something like that you can uh, set these and get yourself back out uh, one-handed so uh, this is a 330 my father gifted me with some uh, new 330s so uh, thanks dad appreciate it and uh, all right so how I do this I don't have to carry a bunch of big you know, the, the big heavy setters along or nothing. Some of you guys might know this, some of you might not. Hopefully this will help somebody. This is a 3 8 rope, float rope, and uh, about six foot long. What I do is make a loop, and I, I set that on my, put that on my foot as such, go around my foot. Now I take that and I go up through my springs, come back down, and come back up through my springs. Now, now all I gotta do is take and go like that. There it's set. I got my safety on. Do the same thing on this side. Go up, come up through, come back down, and come back up through, like such. All right, boom. There you go. Now I carry a couple of these with me, just in case you know one breaks or something like that, or lose it. You know, I carry several of them with me, uh, just in case. Stores real nice, right in there. Not real heavy, you know. There's no weight to that, so works works great. Um, so hopefully that helps somebody figure out, uh, you know, how to maybe they can set set them a little easier. Somebody might have known. You guys might have known that and. Uh, whatever but another little tip I want to tell you about is when you're setting these 330s or anything any you know 220 or whatever um, if you got that trap in ice say you caught a beaver or something under the ice or whatever and you bring that back up have a rag as soon as you get that um, beaver out or you get it out of the water say it's fired or something dry these jaws off dry these off right away because what will happen is that cold air it'll freeze them up right away it'll freeze them up and uh, you go to set that and it, it might think it's set and it'll slip off of there the ice will slip and it bam end up catching yourself um, so you know be be very very careful when you're setting these carna bears um, dry them jaws off if I can get this thing spread there we go um, and uh, you know just watch yourself um, another little tip you can do if you catch a beaver and you get them out and you get snow you got snow roll them in the snow that'll help get the water off their uh, pelts help keep them from the, their fur from freezing up like um, Another little tip I thought I'd show you here. Um, if you got cracks in your boots and stuff, and you keep epoxy in it, and they're putting uh, like shoe goop and stuff on it, just don't keep sealed for you like I have here. And I don't have the money to go buy a new pair of boots. Um, I take and uh, take a 55 gallon drum liner, the construction grade drum liners stick it on my foot and put my foot down in the boot and it's like have another boot inside help keep you from uh, keep your socks and stuff from getting wet and uh, 
you know, save you a little money maybe. But, uh, you know, if it's a huge gas, you can't do that, obviously. But if it's like a crack or something, uh, maybe you can do that. So, well, guys, hope these little tips helped you out. Hope everybody's doing well out there. And I guess with that being said, take care, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.